called Dreamer. This time I'm printing a little toy car. So it's going to be 12 centimetres long. And it's just going to be in the Let's have a look up here. Let's see the little car. It's filling the overheads. So that's going to be the front of the bar. It's coming out all right. This is going to be pretty cool. Make your own kids toys. There we go. Just filled in the wheel. So, there you go. That's how it prints in the mid air. And the axles actually go through the car, and when it's finished, uh, the wheels will actually turn. Uh, there we go. And the, that's come along pretty good, so we'll just close that. Now here's my custom spool holders that I printed. Uh, just one bolt, and it clips over here and holds your spool of filament. And at the back, uh, it just goes up through a tube, and then the filament goes up and print up just through there. Right, so anyway, so that way you can use your own uh, filament rather than uh, use it buying theirs. I've bought some filament. <laughs> so we've got one kilogram rolls. Uh, this is all PLA. Right, and that one, these three are from the old printer I was going to buy, the XYZ Printing uh, Da Vinci 1.0, but I ended up cancelling uh, my order on that printer. I wasn't too happy with it. So, what I've done, I just cracked open the, um, uh, the their custom made holders and there we go. I'm going to use their filament. Now, their filament is ABS. So, there we go. I've got a good selection of uh, ABS here, and the rest is PLA. Uh, six hours 20 in. And let's have a look. It's uh, very nice detail. This is at 200 microns. At 200 microns, 8 hours into the build. And there we go. The fat shot. And it's just a little Okay, so here we are again on the Flash Forge Dreamer. And as you can see, it's building the car. And it's just filling in the infills. It's uh, 99% after eight and a half hours. Let's see if I can focus. There we go. Now that we 
Here we are on the Flash Forge Dreamer and it's up to the very last layer. So as you can see it's turned the speed right down and look at the quality of that print. Car printing. Here we go. Print time, eight hours, 28 minutes. Now, it did take a fair bit of work to get it off the print bed. So, but anyway, here it is. That's the way it printed, so that's the top layer. This is at 0 0.2 millimeters. Let me see if I can zoom in on that. It's actually very, very fine. It's a really, really nice finish. Um, really happy with that. I didn't have to do any work with the wheels. Um, they just um, spun yeah, as soon as I took it off the bed. Uh, the axles move a little bit and they turn freely. Right, and the back wheels. Yep. So, there we go. That's the little car. Well, when I say little, it's a, it's a fair size and it's really strong. And just for... Hang on, let's have a look. Uh, print. Okay, so it was a mini car, 200 microns, 30% infill. Alright, so go back. Alright, so that's 30% uh, infill. And, oh wow, the, the roof is really, really smooth. Um, there's hardly any, any problem with that whatsoever. There we go. The bonnet's nice and smooth. We've got a couple of little spider hair sort of bits of filament inside but I mean you can see the seats where the steering wheel would be inside of the doors All right, so we've got the headlights and the uh, grill and we've got tail lights and they've even put in a number plate which I didn't even realise until I printed it can't quite make it out uh, yeah, I don't know, it's something. Yeah, but anyway. Alright, so that's the little car. Push the pinner back. And it rolls. So that'll make a great kid's toy. And it's really, really strong. And the cost of the filament to print this, uh, it was close to about $2.80. So, so that's pretty good. Three dollars, and, uh, and you've got a really strong, durable car. Go get it! It's a car! It's a car! So here we are. We've got our first 3D printed toy for our baby. Yeah, it's a little car.